Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be daily tarot reading for July 8, 2018. So four cards spread as per usual and the first card of the day that shows up the topic <clears throat> is going to be uh, the Eight of Swords. Then the next card shows up uh, the worst possible approach we could take regarding the topic here which is the Eight of Swords. That will be the Queen of uh, Pentacles. Third card expresses up the best possible approach that we could take regarding the topic of the day. That will be the Ace of Pentacles. And uh, the last card represents the um, <clears throat> long-term benefits. If, in case, we do keep these couple of conditions checked. You need to know that this is a, a the, these are conditional cards here. And you may go for them or you may not go for them. So the benefit is going to be the King of Swords. Alright, so what we do have with the Eight of Swords as a topic of the day, it does show a, a certain um, setbacks into communication most likely. The Eight of Swords is one of those cards which often uh, marks a either misunderstanding or incapability to elaborate upon something in a sense of the, let me give you an example, career-wise trying to explain the reason behind a certain action of yours at your co-worker or at your boss etc etc and for some reason they kind of cannot catch up with you, they, they, they don't really understand why you had to do that instead of something else, you know. Say, same thing could happen uh, regarding relationship as well. I mean, if there is a certain different differences in between you and your partner, that day for what it seems it's highly unlikely or rather it's more unlikely to reach a, an understanding and agreement rather than to reach a, a certain position of, um, of fighting among one another because the eight of swords is one of the cards where points uh, which does point that people are kind of like prone to be narrow-minded or in other words neither uh, you or your partner or your boss friends etc etc would have been willing to try to see the things from the other people shoes or uh, they wouldn't want to kind of like um, see outside of the box should I say it that way so pretty much this is a, about the topic, it is a, a day in which we would rather should not kind of get into, uh, into conflict and into explanatory regime. Explanatory regime in the sense of the to explain ourselves constantly. And now as, as we are finding ourselves maybe into that particular situation that <clears throat> we struggle to reach terms with somebody or with the situation, that could be as well situation, you know, because if Eight of Swords reflects to a situation, it means that the situation kind of like a faces a wall. Uh, it faces a, a predicament which is kind of like surprising to us, but uh, with a careful and thorough uh, examination, we are going to realize that this setback is caused exactly by our past approach. So it's something that we have created and we can also overcome it and we should overcome it. We should not allow such thing to really stand into our way for very long. But the Queen of Pentacles here as a negative approach in that particular follow-up is about um, consistency uh, pushing on forward. What I'm trying to say is that I would I, I will have to interpret both both cards here. So instead of going for uh, for the Ace of Pentacles, in, well I don't know how to start really, guys. Uh, well, the, the the bold card points that you can you can either take the approach of not backing off your statement or not backing off your um, your position, all right, or you can completely leave that position aside. For example, just let me give you an example so I can make it clear to you. Let's say that uh, it is about career and uh, you really want to do execute a particular action into a project and your boss doesn't find it very resourceful, doesn't find it very lucrative. And what you can do, you, if you go for the Queen of Pentacles version, that means that you do it either way, you know, you just, you, you just ignore <clears throat> the statement of your boss, just ignore the um, 
uh, what, the, 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 pro, the prohibit that he placed on that action and you do it regardless. Or you can just leave that particular idea of your society, you know, and just focus on something different. So it's all about that jumping. If you want to make that day um, as, um, as, as productive as possible, then uh, you should recognize uh, which is what is working and what isn't working in the sense of that whatever something isn't working right now, that doesn't mean that it's not going to work out tomorrow all right and instead of struggling with it right now you should rather re readjust refocus your um, your efforts and in general you know your aims into something else that is displayed here with the ace of pentacles that at july 8 we should attend and involve ourselves with uh, ourselves with things which are harmonious to us and when i and what one th and what kind of defines harmony with one thing with us it is when that that thing actually works so whatever doesn't work for us in July 8th we should rather leave it for the day after tomorrow or for tomorrow for that matter so if um, if the negotiations with your partner isn't working then just attend to something else you know just leave your partner to speak with themselves and just do whatever you want to do you know same thing goes for your career you have placed in prohibition about a certain action well don't do it you just you know leave that project at out and just attend into a, a different one that your boss doesn't have a finger into etc etc the bottom line here with the ace of pentacles is that we need to redirect our um our efforts and in general you know our capabilities into things that are yet to grow instead of just banging our head against the wall not being able to reach a common ground at this particular uh, at this particular day but remember tomorrow we may be able to and it is exactly what is going to happen guys seeing the king of swords here as a long-term benefits maybe with redirecting our efforts into something else and now what that i'm thinking something bump bump up into my mind as a um, as a as an example so um, uh, the example is as follow uh, let's say that you and your partner in relationship are not in a very good terms all right and you can't reach to a an agreement of reconciliation well instead of doing that maybe you you should go and, and start dating into some with someone else just so you can uh, you can make your partner see that you know the world doesn't end with them and that if they don't move, make a move then uh, they may lose you maybe that's the thing that these cards want to tell us more want to tell to those people which are in such kind of a situation because as soon as you move into something else you know that is harmonious with you and not to that thing here with the ace of swords that are being set in how and in a situation that is a no-go then the things are gonna start grow and not just not just one particular field of our life but most likely all our all, our entire life is going to start growing bit by bit all right and uh, what happens when you start redirecting more productively your um, your means and your uh, and your efforts here with the king of swords it does look like that first of all you're gonna start making better impression into people especially into those people which kind of lost faith in you all right which lost faith that you are going to be happy ever again which lost faith that you are going to have a flawless performance into your career ever again etc etc not to mention that if you're single that card points that people are gonna start finding you more attractive and as well uh, they will kind of like um, find you as well more open to the world but also it comes with a little bit of a negative uh, with a negative influence that card because usually it stands for someone who is very um, how can I place it untouchable or unreachable should I say so it's kind of like only those who have enough guts are going to approach you and also not to mention that the King of Swords is about finding resolutions. It is about being able to analyze the information and also to, uh, how can I place it, and also to make a, um, um, 
a, a very accurate conclusion of that particular information so you can uh, be able to push your things through exactly those things but they cannot be pushed in July 8 alright so just to summarize the things guys whoever doesn't understand you whoever doesn't want to be with you in uh, uh, in one page, all right. Whoever doesn't be with you at the same page, uh, whatever isn't budging out at that particular um, at that particular day, just leave them be. It's their loss, not yours. You just can redirect your positivity. You can redirect your energy, and you can redirect what you have to give, all right, or what you you know uh, what you want to give to this world into someone or something that is grateful to receive it. So with that being said, this was your daily tarot reading for July uh, 8, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing up now. See you next time. Bye.